For three decades, the Minneapolis Heart Institute Foundation has been an effective catalyst to connect organizations, people, and resources in the effort to advance cardiovascular research and education. It has made a significant impact in the development of protocols to save lives and improve patient care. Well, the synergies between the Minneapolis Heart Institute and the Foundation are critical to the success and the care that we deliver to our patients. The expertise of one brings the quality of the other up and vice versa. This was the most well-organized, uh, structured, and um, forward-thinking group of cardiovascular medicine specialists I've ever seen anywhere. Since 1982, the foundation has existed to create a world without heart disease. I think the real uh, driving force to form a foundation for the physicians practicing here was their sense that they needed a platform in, in order to do clinical research and education. And there were very few people actually out in private practice. There really wasn't any entity like this out there. MHI is one of the oldest uh, heart transplant centers in the country. It started its program 30 years ago. Thanks to its forward thinking at that time, there are many patients now who are still alive with the original heart transplant they received almost 30 years ago. Through cutting edge research and technologies, we've been able to translate this work from the bench to the bedside with great agility that has quickly allowed new therapies to come available to our patients and to translate into better cardiovascular care. The founders recognized early on the need to engage the community. Support from business leaders lending influential voices to the vision, reinforced by the authentic gratitude from patients and families benefiting from the foundation's cutting edge research and innovative treatments were vital for the foundation's financial stability and continued growth. I think the most important thing is that the contributors have to know that those people involved, in this case the physicians and the hospital, we're deeply interested in this project. So we put up the initial money to, to create the Heart Institute Foundation. We had strong support from Abbott Northwestern Hospital on an ongoing basis from day one until today. Uh, and the physicians continue to support the foundation from day one until today. One of the things that forming a foundation has allowed us to do is to subspecialize. So rather than have one cardiologist as a general cardiologist, we now have interventional cardiologists, preventive cardiologists, uh, electrophysiology cardiologists, and the subspecialization allows you to have greater expertise in each of those areas. Uh, these are people of exceptional skill and commitment, uh, people who are uh, very good at keeping the focus of taking care of patients and their families. Well, it's a new day for hypertrophic cardiomyopathy. Uh, I've been here 20 years, and I think that certainly over the last 10 to 15, we've changed, not alone, but we've been a major part of changing diagnosis, understanding the natural history, and of course, most importantly, the management or treatment uh, uh, modalities that are available to improve quality of life and extend life. But the most important thing was uh, seeing how MHI was so progressive. They are extremely academic. They understand the business and how to uh, grow programs. The contribution of the Minneapolis Heart Institute Foundation on a national and international basis has been very impressive. We have trained fellows in cardiology and cardiovascular surgery really from all over the world. The educational efforts of the Minneapolis Heart Institute Foundation are critical not only to the physicians of which we serve, but also to the community. Two examples of programs that have been started and initiated here and really developed by our researchers have been the Coolit program and the Level 1 program. And those programs have had national and international uh, significance by changing the way we treat patients. And it was really a remarkable um, process and a remarkable example of teamwork and how really you take uh, cutting edge research information and translate it into clinical practice to really make a difference in people's lives. What began with 13 visionary physicians has evolved to one of the largest non-university centered cardiovascular research groups in the United States. 
The future of advancing cardiovascular research lies in innovative, provocative, and comprehensive investigations. The offerings that the Minneapolis Heart Institute Foundation offers for research is just really unparalleled. What we're finding is in younger people in particular and in certain kinds of diagnoses that just with mechanical support, the heart gets better. The heart gets better in ways that we didn't anticipate. The most exciting, really, uh, new step in this is really stem cell therapy. There's also new stem cell types, such as uh, what are called induced pluripotent stem cells, where you can actually take a, a cell from your skin and convert it back into a stem cell. And then you can then use those stem cells to grow new heart muscle uh, cells. The future is non-invasive imaging. It's what we're doing now, but better. It's looking at things in three dimensions, essentially looking at the body in various degrees without having to open the body and hurt it. Many of the new technologies were developed uh, for adult applications, uh, primarily looking at coronary arteries, but the impact of that has been great on pediatrics because they're very small structures, um, and the technology is excellent for looking at those as well. What inspires us from an education standpoint is the understanding, getting the understanding out there to the referring community that these technologies are coming very rapidly and the majority of them are in fact available here. Leading research and innovation, the Minneapolis Heart Institute Foundation is truly creating a world without heart disease. Part of our mission is to continue to push forward, trying to learn ways of doing things better than we've been able to do them in the past. There is a spirit of collegiality amongst people. I think that there is uh, a real drive to accomplish things. My goal as a vascular surgeon is not just to take care of the patient in front of you, but to take care of the patient that's not in front of you, that you haven't met yet. We can't do this without the foundation, without the people's help in the foundation, their resources, financial. It is a very, very big, complex outfit that allows me to do the research, but to continue to have a very full and active practice.